I'm Akira O'Connor. I'm a lecturer at the University of St. Andrews. Deja vu is the strange feeling that we get when we find something familiar, but we know that it shouldn't be as familiar as it feels. Um, so people will often describe um, being in a, say, a mundane situation that suddenly takes on this, this kind of significance because it feels much more familiar uh, than, it, than it should be. It's, it's a memory illusion and, and one that really highlights how, um, how subjective our memory experience is. There are lots of ideas about um, what might be happening when you experience deja vu. Um, the, the idea that we find most compelling uh, is that there's a part of your brain that signals familiarity. And normally this works so that when you retrieve some information, this part of the brain signals familiarity and you proceed kind of knowing that whatever you've just retrieved is familiar. But um, sometimes, just like we might get a twitch just below our eye or a twitch in, in a muscle, um, I believe that this familiarity region sends a signal inappropriately, it twitches. Um, and that makes us think that whatever it is that we're encountering is familiar. Um, now the rest of our brain has to go into kind of error correction mode at that stage and say, okay, that's being signaled as familiar, but the rest of my knowledge suggests that that isn't familiar. So that's when we get this weird kind of disconnect between what we feel and what we know to be true. Deja vu happens most when we're young adults, um, which is interesting in that if it's a memory error, we would expect it to happen more um, when our memories start to become less reliable as we age. So there's the potential that deja vu might actually be quite a healthy memory checking system that is at its most efficient when we're young. This efficiency might be down to um, a neurotransmitter called dopamine. So we know that dopamine levels reduce uh, in the brain as we age. We also know that um, there are certain combinations of medicines that will elevate, that will increase dopamine levels. And people have reported experiencing more deja vu when they take these, uh, these medicines. That said, I'd be very careful about saying not having deja vu is bad for us because there are plenty of people who don't experience it at all who don't appear to show any problems with their memories or with you know, reality monitoring. I think there are some situations when deja vu can become bad for us, um, and that's when people experience it um, all the time, or their experience frightens them or it annoys them. And in those sorts of situations, I think um, the impact that it has on people is, is probably uh, more detrimental than, than, than good. It sends out a stream of very fast uh, hot exhaust gas. 